Hi, my name is Mike. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. And before me, you can see there's a good examples of live burnums and burning bushes that we gave a real hard cut to. And we did this about a month ago with a chainsaw, believe it or not. And one thing you can notice is that they all are coming out with new leaves. You can see a real hard cut on them. Live burnums can take some real nasty cut pruning before they die. But the one thing you can see that's obvious is that right now they should be flowering, but they have very few flowers. There is one flower over here. The reason for that is that viburnums and such plants that are determinate have the flower buds that are created on last year's growth. So if you cut off all last year's growth, you won't have any flowers this year. That's why when you prune these, you should prune these after they flower and once these new stalks start hardening off. That way when the buds are formed for next year, they have flowers for you. But anyway, you can see that you can cut them. These guys were like 15 foot tall. They were massive tall trees. We cut them about three foot because that's what we usually do. I even had some friends come out and said that I was gonna kill these guys because I cut them so hard, but you can see they still come back. Vibrinums are a very resilient plant. And you can see the number of shoots that they're putting up. Yes, they, 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 if you cut them real hard like that, they come back even thicker and fuller. Now this is a burning bush you cut back hard. Yes, that is. And uh, that's what happens with burning bush as well. They are also in the same family where they can take a lot of unnecessary cutting. <laughs> they still come back. They are very resilient as right. well. But these trees were so big that they were blocking the sunlight to other trees. For example, this is a, a red, red maple, a Japanese red maple, and it had just it languished on this one side of the tree because these bushes were taking all the light from it. So it affected the, the quality and growth of other trees. So cutting down and cutting back on shrubs and nursery stock actually can help them and give you a better product. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce, we also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide re range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.